What's up, Falcon fans? It's your boy, Let Us Pray, with that Falcon talk. Your boy didn't forget about you, man. Uh, it's just been a very, very busy few weeks, man. Um, Falcons talk, though. Um, I, did a, I did a video since the winning streak, uh, the two-game win streak. And then uh, we go on to lose against uh, New Orleans. And then this week we go against the Carolina Panthers, which we thrashed and thoroughly embarrassed. But something has changed uh, for the Panthers that I didn't see coming. The Panthers fire Ron Rivera last week. Uh, or was it earlier this week? It was earlier this week. Um, they fired this guy. I'm like, what? <laughs> Say it again. What? <laughs> they fired Ron Rivera, and then the Falcons have been keeping Dan Quinn all this time. It just doesn't make any sense, man. Um, Ron Rivera is a good coach, I believe. Um, I don't know why he was fired. I'm not sure of all the details. I didn't dig into it. But um, so the Carolina Panthers now, um, you know, they're not really playing. They're not playing for much. Uh, Falcons obviously aren't playing for much either. So this game is a toss up. Panthers versus the Falcons. Going to be the Falcons at home who have played horrible at home. Played a lot better on the road. Um, I mean, they've played horrible pretty much uh, equally. At home, at home and on the road, uh, but uh, their two-game win streak was, they were road games. So, um, Christian McCaffrey, you always got to look out for uh, C-Mac, CMC, and then um, Kyle Allen. Did he get exposed by the Falcons? Um, was he exposed by the Falcons about uh, three weeks ago? Falcons made him look really bad. Um, that's probably the worst I've seen uh, Kyle, Kyle Allen look uh, this season was that game against the Falcons. He looked really rattled. Um, the pass rush was getting to him. He wasn't uh, finding the receivers. He threw like four interceptions, which was very, uh, seemed like very abnormal for him. He seemed pretty accurate uh, for the most part. Uh, more prone to fumbling than throwing interceptions, but I mean, he threw interceptions. I mean, Desmond True Font picked them off. I love you, Desmond True Font, but you're not known for interceptions, man. So it's, it just seemed very odd. Uh, but um, Falcons versus Panthers this week. I'm going to be honest with you, man. I'm hoping the Falcons lose these last four games. I'm going to be honest. We're at the fifth pick right now in the NFL draft. Dan Quinn will not be with this team next season. I think it's safe to say that. So why should we allow Dan Quinn to win any games when it's not going to save his job? It's not going to help this team make the playoffs. Just to play us out of a top five pick, just like he did last season. And you see what happened this season. It didn't help at all. Those three games we won last season didn't help the team at all we we're saying we we're going to be this great team because all of our uh, defenders were hurt last season and we we're going to have a much better uh, season this season and it didn't happen so i'm not rooting against my team but i'm thinking with my brain the sensible thing the best thing for this franchise is to lose all the remaining games and to try to get the number one or number two pick so we can secure that monster, Chase Young from Ohio State. Uh, give me your thoughts, Falcon fans. What do you think? What do you want to happen? Do you want it just to win to save face or for pride? Or would you rather get a franchise-changing player? This guy's a franchise-changing player. A defender, a man who can eat up offensive tackles. When's the last time we had a guy like that? John Abraham, right? It's been a long time since we had John Abraham. Uh, I don't even remember what year that was. 2009? Was it? 
No. Yeah, 2009 or so? Something like that. 2008, 2009, maybe 2010. One of those uh, moments. But uh, it's been a long time since the Falcons have had a great pass rusher. And we didn't even draft him. We got him in free agency. So um, they've whiffed on uh, free agent defensive ends year after year back in the early 2000s, mid 2000s. Um, it's about time we strike gold in that department. So um, I'm rooting for the Falcons to lose these games, man. Makes no sense for us to uh, win anymore. It really doesn't. Um, there's going to be a changing of the guard, a shift in the power in the uh, front office, and we just need to stockpile good assets right now. Um, we're not a good team, and I don't know what the turnover is going to be on this roster uh, player-wise, but um, I would imagine some of our favorites might be gone next year, uh, depending on what coach comes in, and then um, some of our favorites may stay. Uh, I'm not going to really address Matt Ryan right now. I'm not going to address Matt Ryan right now. I'm going to do a special segment on Matt Ryan, uh, probably at the end of the season. So it's your boy, Let Us Pray, man. I am a Falcons fan for life. Like I said, I'm a realist. I'm not a homer. Um, like I said, I live in California, man. But I've been a Falcons fan since 2003. Um, but I've been Falcons through and through since then, man. Uh, not, not a bandwagon fan. I ride with my team, man. Ups and the downs. Uh, I'm still here, man. Uh, the coach that left in midnight like a thief in the night. He will not be named on this channel ever, but you know who I'm talking about. I've been with him before then, after then. Uh, the Michael Vick saga, I was, I mean, it is what it is, man. I've been here through that. I've uh, been here through 28-3. Uh, broke my heart. And I'm still here. So if I'm still here after 28 to 3, you know I'm not going anywhere. So it's your boy, man. Uh, have a blessed and prosperous day, Falcons fans. Uh, we're, the, we're a brotherhood, man. We got to be one of the closest brotherhoods in the uh, NFL because, like I said, usually we don't have a lot to cheer for. Um, we got to be right up there with the Jets fans and the uh, Browns fans uh, as some of the most loyal fans in the league. So um, let you guys, man, take care. Be blessed. Um, representing the Brotherhood, representing Falcon Nation. Uh, hopefully, we get some better results next season. Hopefully, we can secure Chase Young in an NFL draft. Let me know who you want. Uh, maybe you don't want Chase Young. Maybe you want someone else. Um, let me know who you want. Um, let me know how you would like this season to end. Let me let me know your thoughts of uh, some of the favorite players that possibly could be going next season, um, and what coach. Would you like to see uh, the Falcons secure um, as the future of this franchise? So, boy, let us pray. Take care. Have a blessed and prosperous uh, Friday. TGIF. Take care, guys. Peace.